following episode contains material that may be harmful or traumatizing to some audiences. Listener discretion is advised. The town would go do. On the way to the trail, they listened to music with the windows cracked. She reminded the girls to stay warm. She didn't realize this was the last time she'd say goodbye. It was a normal car ride. We always had the windows down and the music up really loud. Um, But obviously it was February, so we couldn't have the windows down that low. We just had them cracked a little bit. And we talked about what they were going to do. They were just going to go out and take pictures. And I double-checked that my dad was coming to get them. It was just a normal conversation. We had our favorite music playing. Do you remember what it was? It was Heathens by 21 Pilots was the last song. Kelsey dropped the girls off at Highbridge around 1.30 in the afternoon. A little after 2 o'clock, Libby posted a Snapchat photo of Abby walking across the bridge. She's looking down at the railroad ties as she walks, almost pensive. Behind her, the bridge disappears into nothingness. This is the last time anyone would hear from Abby and Libby. And this breaking news, two 13-year-old girls are missing from Carroll County this morning. They disappeared yesterday afternoon in what we're told is a treacherous area what just outside of what Delphi. we've seen, there are probably about 200 civilian volunteers working with police, firemen, and others. They're searching woods, streams, fields, and buildings. The area, according to Until the Until those 13-year-olds are found, it's been nearly 24 hours, of course, since they were reported missing. From Cast Media, this is Media Circus, an inside look at private tragedy in the public eye. I take high-profile crimes you might think you know and connect you with the real people behind the media coverage to share their stories, in their own words, on their own terms. I'm Kim Goldman.